From the terrifying upside down to the heart-wrenching goodbyes, it's time to dive into the world of Hawkins, Indiana one last time. That's right, Stranger Things Season 5 will be the final season, and we're here to uncover the real reasons why. We're also going to discuss some juicy theories, as well as what to expect from our favorite characters. So, first things first, why is Season 5 the last season? Well, the Duffer brothers, who are the genius siblings behind the show, have always envisioned the show to have a limited run. They wanted to wrap up the storylines, while at the same time keeping the show fresh and engaging. If you ask us, that's a pretty wise decision. When they first created the show, they planned for the show to have either four or five seasons. Later on, they realized the story was too much to tell in only four seasons. However, the pair did promise that there are plenty of stories left to tell. In fact, they spoke about new mysteries, new adventures, and new unexpected heroes. Sounds like the recipe for success. Believe it or not, the incredible Duffer brothers actually started working on this new chapter in August of 2022. Despite this, they're not going to start filming until June of 2023. It's just around the corner. The Duffers and Netflix renewed the series in February of 2022, when they also revealed that season 4 would be the beginning of the end. Now, let's talk release date. Unfortunately, we shouldn't expect it to hit Netflix for a while, especially since they haven't even started filming yet. We had to endure a painful wait between seasons 3 and 4, but rumor has it, Season 5 could arrive as early as 2024, so get ready to mark your calendars. There's also the release model for the new season. Remember how Netflix dropped seasons 1 to 3 in one go, and then season 4 completely switched it up by releasing in two volumes? Will season 5 stick with this new model, or will it go back to an all-at-once release? We'll just have to wait and see. Next up, we're going to dive into some thrilling Season 5 theories and expectations. Cast your mind back to the jaw-dropping Season 4. This season had some major plot twists and features, like the ominous Upside Down, spine-chilling monsters, and even more 80s nostalgia. There's one intriguing theory circulating, but it's not one you'll like. Apparently, a significant character might not survive the season. We've witnessed it before. Farewell, Barb, adios, Bob, and goodbye, Eddie. So, who's next in line? Let's just pray that it's not our beloved Steve Harrington. Another exhilarating theory suggests that the entire gang might end up in the Upside Down. Just picture Eleven, Mike, and the rest of the squad maneuvering through that terrifying dimension. Sounds super intense. So, who's going to survive Season 5, and who won't? So many questions! Speaking of characters, let's discuss who's returning for Season 5. Get ready for a thrill, as we don't have any confirmed members just yet. However, we can expect all core cast members are coming back. That means more of Millie Bobby Brown's Eleven, Finn Wolfhard's Mike, Caleb McLaughlin's Lucas, Noah Schnapp's Will, Gaten Matazaro's Dustin Henderson, and Sadie Sinks's Max. But let's not forget, there's also the beloved Winona writers Joyce Byers, David Harbour's Jim Hopper, Natalia Dyer's Nancy Wheeler, everyone's favorite babysitter Joe Keery's Steve Harrington, and Charlie Heaton's Jonathan Byers. Unfortunately, it's unclear what new characters are going to appear in this final season. What about the characters who could come back? Well, at the end of last season, we saw the gang defeat the terrifying Vecna also known as One, who Jamie Campbell Bauer plays. Even so, we've got a strong feeling that his character will return for this last season. How? We'll just have to watch and find out. Also, in Season 4, we were introduced to outcast Eddie Munson, played by Joseph Quinn. He was an immediate hit with Stranger Things fans. There was even a TikTok trend based on his character. Sadly, he was taken from us too soon. We saw Eddie tragically die in Season 4, so it's unlikely he'll return for Season 5, especially since Quinn spoke about the character and described how he's glad Eddie got a real arc. He spoke about how much he enjoyed that Eddie had a great beginning, a great middle, and a great end, although there are rumors he'll appear in a flashback sequence or something similar. Then there's the evil Dr. Brenner, 
played by Matthew Modine. In season 4, he got his just desserts and died. Let's hope for Eleven's sake, he doesn't come back. Even though Modine has recently said he would like to return, even with those characters we know are very likely to return, not everything is entirely clear. Take Max, for example. She ended season 4 stuck in a coma, with doctors questioning if she could wake up, and Eleven being unable to find her in the Upside Down. Even Sadie Sink, the actress, spoke about it. She said that the Duffer brothers, who are known for creating crazy plot twists, have been very secretive about Max's future. Sadie herself is unsure of what will happen next. But thankfully, not everyone is having such a tough time with things. Noah Schnapp spoke about his character Will, revealing that he gets a beautiful ending, where the writers, quote, beautifully address everything they needed to. Let's hope the other characters get the same loving treatment. Speaking of Will, he's going to take center stage for the last season. Although the writers did explore his isolation during seasons 3 and 4, he's mostly taken a backseat from the rest of the gang. But in this final season, we'll see him come into his own. In the last season, we saw Will share a psychic connection with Vecna, meaning he could sense the Upside Down's hive mind. So, for the final episodes, it's very likely that this power will become central for Will. Perhaps, it might even be essential to stop Vecna for good. Since the first season started with Will disappearing, it only makes sense he takes the spotlight for the last one. Also, the Duffer Brothers said the newest season will feature plenty of leftover ideas from Season 2. Apparently, they planned many things for Season 2, but couldn't use them all. So instead, they're recycling them for the final one, which will have huge implications for the show, as well as the characters. Now, get ready for some juicy details about Season 5. Sadly, we don't have the full scoop on the storyline just yet. But we do have some tantalizing teases from interviews. According to the Duffer Brothers, Season 5 will be the culmination of a grand plan. They planned the ending years ago, although the ending has changed slightly. The brothers claim it will still be part of their initial rough sketch. Now, hold on to your seats, because it seems like Season 5 will have a time jump. However, this is mostly not through choice. They said it's because they were physically incapable of shooting season 4 and 5 back to back. So they had to accommodate a time jump into the storyline. Even with the time jump, the Duffer brothers hinted that the final season will be much faster paced than the previous ones. It'll take place in Hawkins to resolve the cliffhanger of season 4's ending, where the Upside Down merged with the normal world. But if that wasn't enough, Season 5 is set to be another emotional roller coaster. Ross Duffer claims Netflix responded well to the pitch for Season 5. In fact, he said he saw executives crying who I've never seen cry before. Clearly, we're in for a real trip with Season 5. With so many returning characters and tons of captivating storylines, fans are pumped about the potential for epic reunions as well as heartwarming moments. We are also eager to see how the various plot lines will come together in the grand finale. So there you have it. The real reason Stranger Things Season 5 will be the final season is to keep the show fresh and true to its original vision. We've got some outlandish theories, seriously high stakes, and a mix of returning and new characters to look forward to.